Say something right quick. I think back on the African-American people in America. I think how that they were taken against their wills, put in the belly of ships, brought over here, beat, cussed. Many of them died in the guts of those ships, thrown overboard. They were pulled from families over there. You ain't never heard a gut-wrenching song you hear a black person sing one of those old black Negro spirituals. Nobody knows. I can't sing it like that, see, because I hadn't experienced what they be. When you've experienced hell, it comes out of the voice. I said, when you experience hell, it comes out of the voice. If you're one of those people that you got problem with black people or whatever, you better shut your mouth because they're God's people. You better hear what I'm saying to you. You better shut your, you better shut your white mouth. You better shut your white mouth. I'm not kidding you. I know some of you is raised in the deep south and you is raised by prejudiced people and bigoted people. You better get that out of your system. You better get it out of your system. It'll cause you to suffer right along with those masters. It'll cause you to suffer right along with them. These are God's people. And I know that there's wicked and white races and wicked and black races and all that. I'm not justifying none of that stuff. I'm just saying God knows what happened to the black race. He knows how they wound up over here. And God is going to re reimburse the black people for all their trouble and all their labor. You watch what I tell you. The book of Isaiah. Chapter 2 and verse 1. And it reads, The word that Isaiah, the son of Amos, saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem. And it shall come to pass in the last days that the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established in the top of the mountains and shall be exalted above the hills and all nations shall flow into it. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem. Yahweh Shah, Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father of the world cause. God means he is or he exists. And Yahweh Shah's name is the only begotten son who the world calls Jesus. It means he saves. Um, by Hashem is in the name or Kakadash is the Holy Spirit. I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone rule well. Peace and blessings to the share I can just push forward in the truth throughout the four corners of the earth. I want to say shalom on to you, brothers, and keep pushing. And the double shalom on to you, like look like the other nations. And since you are I want to say shalom on to you, brothers and sisters, as well. My name is Dwyer from GMS Line St. Louis Camp. And I'll come back and get another video. And that little snippet that you just watched is basically um, a pastor admitting that uh, so called Negroes are the lowest people, you know. And it's not a black thing, you know. You're sure uh, Judah is the head tribe, so called African Americans, but. Um, you got the rest of the nine tribes that don't even identify with black, all right? Uh, they identify as Hispanic or Native American or, or Seminole Indian, all right? But because scripture said the children of Israel and Judah were oppressed together, all right? So let's read on. It says, And many people shall go and say, Come ye, and let us go up to the mountain of the Lord. Right, and that mountain represents the rulership. You know, like they call um, these different um, political meetings the summit, right? It says, in the house of the God of Jacob, and he will teach us his ways, and we will walk in his paths. For out of Zion shall go forth the law and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. Right. Because um, that's what people are going to do. Um, when we come off those ships with those new bodies, you know, because we're going to be uh, gods, all right? Because the scripture uh, referred to us as gods. And people are going to see it then. Because we're already gods on a low level now, but hey, they really going to worship us like gods when we come off those ships. All right. And he should... 
judge among the nations and shall rebuke many people. And they shall beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. Nations shall not lift up swords against nations, neither shall they learn war anymore. O house of Jacob, come ye and let us walk in the light of the Lord. All right. Because uh, as of right now, the world is ran by Esau Edom. And ever since Esau Edom came into power, um, this whole kingdom been at war. All right, with other nations trying to get them to accept um, democracy, you know. But when we come back into power, um, and the nations are going to flock to us. You know, they're going to be uh, giving tribute and all that. It says, therefore, thou hast forsaken our people, the house of Jacob, because they replenished from the east and are soothsayers like the Philistines, and they please themselves in the judging of strangers. The land also is full of silver and gold, neither is there any end of their treasures. Their land is also full of horses, neither is there any end of their chariots. Their land is also full of idols. They worship the work of their hands, that which their own fingers have made. Right? And that's talking about the other nations. And the mean man boweth down, and great man humbleth himself, therefore, and forgive not. Enter into the rock, and hide ye, and hide thee in the dust, for fear of the Lord, and for the glory of his majesty. The lofty looks of a man shall be humbled, and the haughtiness of man shall be bowed down, and the Lord alone shall be exalted in that day. Right? For the day of the Lord of hosts shall be upon everyone that is proud and lofty, and upon everyone that is lifted up, and he shall be brought low. Right? Because uh, when you look at these Edomites, hey, they real proud. You know how, like he said in the uh, video, the pastor, he was all like, now, you, you need to stop it now. You know, hey, that's what the Lord is doing. You know, hey, all these um, proud looks that you eat mice have. All right. The Lord is um, wiping that off your faces. All right. Because uh, hey, you all going to acknowledge, hey, number one, who you ignorantly call Jesus Christ, who is the so-called black man, according to the scriptures. You're going to have to acknowledge him as the Lord. Scripture says, every knee, every tongue shall bow and confess. You know? And starting off with y'all, because most of y'all don't even believe in um, the most high at all. And if you do believe, you don't believe that he's a so-called black man, a man of color. You know? But the Lord is putting the spirit on some of these Edomites to admit that. All right? Revelation 3 and 9 it says, Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jews and are not, but do lie. Right? Behold, I will make them come and worship before thy feet, and to know that I have loved thee. Right? So that's what the Lord is going to do. Now, who is the um, Jewish man that's calling himself an Israeli in Israel right now? They're really from the tribe of Amalek. All right, those not the people of the Most High. They don't come from that lineage of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. All right, they come from the lineage of Abraham, Isaac, Esau. All right. But the Lord said he's going to make them bow down to us and uh, worship us. Because right now, they, they own the world. Entertainment industry. Like, basically, like, like what you wear, music you listen to. You know, but when we come into power, we're going to control all that. Everything gonna go back to uh, the natural, ancient way. You ain't gonna have no, no uh, nobody wearing no damn jeans, no true religions, which that's going off in itself. True religion, you know, because it's talking about basically like idol. It, it, it's just clothes, but which I, I got a pair of true religions, but it, it just from just what it stands for, you know. This goes back to idol worship, 
you know, we we have uh, we gonna have clothes um, that acknowledge the most out on it, you know. Uh, you know, I have fine linen, silk, all that. I ain't gonna be no mixed fabrics in the kingdom. Isaiah 47 and 1. Come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. Sit on the ground, there is no throne. O daughter of the Chaldeans, for thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. All right, so this place, Babylon, also known as America, prophesied in the scriptures. So the Lord is, uh, is humbling uh, these uh, Edomites over here, you know. This is uh, a big humbling period for you because, you know, y'all have been proud. Y'all the proudest nation that ever existed. All right. Um, and we're going to take you down, the Lord. You know, because we're not going to um, uh, bear arms, take up arms and go against you ourselves. You know, we waiting on you. How much me I try to do that? Because that's what he... Uh, promised us all right verse two take the millstones and grind mill uncover their locks make bread a leg uncover the thigh pass over the rivers the nakedness shall be uncovered yea thy shame shall be seen i will take vengeance and i will not meet thee as a man right so this is what um the lord said he's gonna do he said he's not gonna meet you as a man all right he gonna meet he gonna meet you as a as a powerful angelic force, a, a chariot gonna be so big, it's gonna look like a mountain in the sky. All right, and this is a future prophecy, you know, because Edom uh, is the nation that got to be ruling at the uh, end. Because Lord said He's gonna, not gonna meet you as a man. Verse four: As for our redeemer, the Lord of hosts is His name, the Holy One of Israel. All right, Yahweh Shemesha, sit thou silent and get thee into darkness, O daughter of the Chaldeans. For thou shalt no more be called the Lady of Kingdoms. All right, I was wroth with my people; I polluted my inheritance and given them into thy hand. Thou didst show them no mercy. Upon the ancient, as thou very heavily laid thy yoke. All right, um, the Lord said he polluted his inheritance. If you look at so-called Black, Hispanic, Native American culture, it equals death. From the food that you eat to how you think, you know, because most of these Israelites out here is selfish and they just, they just don't like think about themselves and they don't really love their brother like they should, all right? They just put their needs before everybody else, all right? Um, and it's all about... Um, you know, getting getting one up on the next, on the next Israelite, the next so-called black man, Hispanic man. All right, dealing with your women, cause hey, a lot of these niggas out here wicked. You know, slutting out your own women. You know, um, and vice versa. You know, you women wicked too. Women more wicked than than the men. Cause the scriptures tell you about the wickedness of a woman. You know. Um, but yeah, that culture is death. Now, this is the only culture that's life. All right. It says, and now it said, I shall be a lady forever. So that thou didst not lay these things to thy heart. Neither didst remember the latter end of it. Right. So. Because uh, you eat them. You don't think that you should pay for your sins. But hey, you are. All right, because we had to pay for our sins and we still paying for it because we 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 still in our captivity. All right. We still here. And, and guess what? We catching hell still. And we going to catch hell. Just like the Lord did until um, until it was finished. Until we get up in that chariot or. However, we go out, if you get our head chopped off or whatever. But as soon as it's over, it's over. You know, while we breathing, it's, it's still not over yet.
This is Isaiah 14 and 1. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land. And the strangers shall be joined with them and they shall cleave unto the house of Jacob. Right. So the Lord have mercy on us. You know, he's talking about a, um, um, he said a, a, a recompense or uh, what's the word that he used? Um, reimburse. Right. Or reparations. You know, we waiting on the reparations for the Lord. Hey, you eating my you ain't got to give us nothing. You know, because hey, we not begging y'all for nothing. Because the Lord is going to take care of us, each and every single last one of us. All right. We're not trying to march and be equal with you and be your friend. You got enemy. All right. It's that simple. And we're waiting on the Lord to um, to take you down so we can come into power. Why? Well, because that's the story. Verse two. And the people shall take them and bring them into their place. And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids. And they shall take them captives whose captives they were. And they shall rule over their oppressors. Right? They shall rule over their oppressors. You know, because right now we the ones that are getting oppressed. Just in case you didn't notice. You know? Still getting oppressed. Because we not free. You know, it's like what Agent Smith said in The Matrix. We're not here because we're free, Mr. Anderson. We're here because we're not free. Right? Because we're not free. You know? Verse 3. And it shall come to pass in that day, the Lord shall give thee rest from thy sorrow and from the fear and from thy hard bondage wherein thou was made to serve. Right? Hard bondage. Working. Working nine to fives, you know, you got to work to live. Because this ain't nothing but a matrix itself. This is a system. All right? Designed for the elites. For them to get rich. You know? Verse 4. That thou shalt take up this proverb against the king of Babylon and say, How hath the oppressor ceased the golden city? The Lord hath broken the staff of the wicked and the scepter of the rulers. He who smote the people in wrath with a continual stroke, he hath, he that ruled all nations in anger is persecuted and none hindereth. The whole earth is at rest and is quiet. They break forth into singing. Yea, the fir trees rejoice at thee and the sutters of Lebanon saying, since thou art laid down, no feller has come up against us. All right, so you Edomites, you go out of power. And even the trees gonna rejoice, the animals, you know? The, hey, the animal's going to get that um, fur back. You know, we're going to be able to play with lions and anacondas and all those different types of uh, beasts of the field. All right. Isaiah 14. Let's see where I'm, at, where I'm at. Yeah, Isaiah 14 and 12. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground which did weaken the nations, right? And this ain't talking about um, the spiritual demon Satan, right? This, this talking about you Edomites, right? Because you know that's the light bringers, you know, and what light are you bringing? You're bringing that wicked light because right? everything is upside down in your rulership. For thou hast said in thy heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of the Most High. I will also, I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the Most High, right? Second Thessalonians. She says, showing uh, themselves as, showing himself that he is God. Right? Right? So who put that white image of our Lord and our Savior out? No. Guess who? Verse 15. Yet thou shalt be brought down to hell to the sides of the pit. They that see thee shall narrowly look upon thee and consider thee, saying, Is this the man that brought the, that made the earth to tremble, that did shake kingdoms? 
that made the world as a wilderness and destroyed the cities thereof that opened not the house of his prisoners? Right. Um, you know, how did he make the earth tremble? Hiroshima and Nagasaki, you know, bombing, uh, bombing different countries, you know, making the world as a wilderness. You got um, uh, different animals that's, a, that's going extinct or that is extinct because uh, you Edomites, all right? You destroyer of the earth. You know, and you got a damn prison sentence instead of just casting forth. You know, you got people uh, that's um, wanted for murder. I mean, not wanted for murder. They committed murder. You know, you got people that committed unlawful sexual acts with like children, like a pedophile. That's in jail right now for doing what, 120 years. How the hell can you do that sentence in your life? You can't. Right? Because those things are made... If you was to commit those things, you should be put to death. All right? Verse 21, prepare slaughter for his children for the iniquity of their fathers that they do not rise nor possess the land nor fill the face of the world with cities, right? And this is going to be a point in time where there ain't going to be no more Edomites on the planet, all right? Because the, the scripture says that you eating my spirits is, is not a right in you, you know? So, you know, hey, we just waiting. Isaiah 63 and 1. I'm ending off in here. Who is this that coming from Edom with dyed garments from Basra? This that is glory in his apparel, travailing in the greatness of his strength. I that speak in righteousness, mighty to save. Right? Wherefore art thou red in thy apparel, and thy garments like the, him that treadeth in the wine fat? I have trodden the wine press alone, and of the people there was none with me, for I will tread them in my anger and trample them in my fury, and their blood shall be sprinkled upon my garments, and I will stain all my raiment. For the day of vengeance is in my heart, and the year of my redeem is come. Right. The scripture says the day of vengeance is um in the Lord's heart. Because it's only been what? Two full days. You know, right now we, we in the third day. The Lord said he's going to raise us up in the third day. I think it's in the book of Hosea. Right? So. Yeah. I is fresh. The Lord is angry. All right? So he's going to get you other nations and you Edomites. Number one, you eat mice. You number one on the hit list. And he gonna get you two third can't get rates. All right. And the Lord is coming. You know, and the truth is out there. You know. Last script, then I'm gonna end it. Matthew 24 and 14. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then the end shall come. Right? So the gospel shall be teached in all the world for a witness to all nations, and then the end will come. You know? Because, um, hey, Christianity, that's not the way, that's not the doctrine. Because the majority of the earth is Christian. And did the Lord come back? Yeah, nah. But as soon as the, the Hebrew Israelite doctrine was teached throughout the planet, that's when you started seeing all these world events that was happening. All right? You know? Before you got to wear a mask now. 
You know, because the hour of temptation is upon us. Jacob trouble is upon us. All right. So with that, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to you. How about Shemir Hope that's edifying. Shalom and the Bible ball.